It was a sunny day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was pulling Annie and Clarabelle on his route. They met Bertie coming along the road. Hello, slow coach. Ignore him, Thomas. He's teasing again. But you're not slow coaches. You can go very fast. He's not talking about, about us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Two minutes early. Good thing I hurried you or you would have been late. That's not true. I always get my passengers to the station on time. <laughs> you must be slowing down, though, Thomas. Lately, I seem to beat you to the level crossing every time. I'm not slowing down. I'll show you. Let's race again. <whistles> Thomas and Bertie think racing is great fun. Sometimes Bertie is quicker. Especially when Thomas has to wait for sheep on the line. And sometimes Thomas is quicker. Especially when Bertie has to stop for workmen repairing the road. Slow down, Thomas. You'll burst a valve. You'll rattle an axle loose. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But lately, every time they have a race, no matter how fast Thomas puffs... Oh, no! Bertie manages to win. You really are very slow these days, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas couldn't understand it. Why was Bertie always there first? I was going faster than ever. Later, Thomas met Bertie again. But he wasn't sure if he was happy to see him. Hee, <laughs> don't be cross, Thomas. Should I tell you my secret? What secret? I've been rerouted. Now I take a shortcut, so my route is much quicker. Thomas was very surprised. He didn't know Bertie could take a shortcut. Tonight, Thomas has an important job to do. Thomas needs something to help him see in the dark. He has a snow plough, a new whistle and a lamp 